Welcome to Assembly Calendar. I'm Mike Friesan, and with us for our program today, Assemblyman Mike Fitzpatrick. Mike Fitzpatrick represents the 8th Assembly District in New York State. The 8th District includes parts of Suffolk County, and we thank you folks on Long Island for joining us. Pleasure to have you here. Mike Fitzpatrick, nice to see you. Mike, great to be with you. Winding Thanks. down the end of this 2018 legislative session. Seven days to go. You have brought a guest with you into the studio <coughs> today. Tell us a, about that. I have a very special guest uh, today. We have, this is Kylie Quigley uh, from Smithtown. And I read a nice article in our local paper, the Smithtown News, about uh, Kylie's condition. Kylie, unfortunately, has a, she's 10 years old and she has a congenital heart defect. In fact, it's a congenital heart defect with tetralogy of fallopulmonary atresia um, and a subsequent diagnosis of, a, of advanced scoliosis. And it was a wonderful article about what Kylie has had to endure, two open heart surgeries, and because of all the work that they've had to do inside, it had the effect on her spine, creating the scoliosis. And she is uh, a fighter, and she is a tough little little gal uh, who has endured quite a bit. And uh, so I told her, wrote her a little note to wish her the best, and uh, said, when you're feeling better, mm -hmm. uh, I'd like to invite you and your mom to come up to Albany and visit the Capitol. And they took uh, you up on that. They took me up, and I said, you know what? <laughs> I, I have to do a TV show as well. Why don't you come and be my guest on the TV show? Well, Kylie, yes, it's nice. Here we are. It is nice to meet you, and thanks for joining Mr. Mm -hmm. Fitzpatrick and coming to the show today. Uh, that, 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 that disease, it, it's got a long name, and it doesn't sound <laughs> that good. But gee, you look great. Uh, tell us, yeah. tell us about what kind of impact this this disease has had on your life. Um, so it's pretty hard. Like I've missed a lot of school because of it, and like I don't want to say I've missed friends, but like when I was homeschooled with my past surgery. I was just bored and I was in pain, so it wasn't like some people want to be homeschooled, but I don't. Like, I had that experience, and I'm like, guys, you don't want to be homeschooled. And <laughs> it's just hard and difficult and a lot of doctor visits. Yeah, so you'd rather be with your friends in school. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that the, uh, <coughs> the uh, she's been through quite a bit, and so... You know, I so said, why don't you come up to Albany, you and Mom, we'll give you the tour of the Capitol. We're going to go over to the Capitol. We start session shortly. And uh, uh, just, you know, come and we'll talk to the community, the people of Smithtown and Islandia and Hop Park mm -hmm. back home and uh, tell your story. So um, we have a, uh, she brought me a gift, <laughs> uh, which is very special, and I'll, we'll have it in my office. But... Uh, we have a friend here. He doesn't have a name yet, but he is a, uh, a little bear. Uh, hello, Mr. Frieza. Hello, hello. bear. <laughs> so this I've never Kylie, interviewed a bear before. Th but this bear has a zipper and with a heart in it. And mm -hmm. Kylie, tell, tell everybody what the, what the significance of that is. So when kids or adults have their surgeries, they call it a zipper scar. So the person that makes the bone bears, they put a heart and then they put like the scar and it looks like a zipper. Um, so we bought some of them and we're giving them to people to raise awareness and um, help them get through the tough situation they're in. Yeah. Do, do you, when you, when you talk to your friends at school, mm -hmm. or as Mr. Fitzpatrick notes, you go around the community, you raise awareness for your situation, the disease that you, and the, the, the surgeries and all that you've had, what do you tell them? I mean, is, is, do you paint a bleak picture of how <laughs> awful and depressing life can be, or what's your message for people? Um, I just like say like, be grateful that you are lucky to have um, no condition. Even if it's like a small thing, it's still better than what we, all of us have. And I was really scared one time, and I was like, Mom, wh why is it just me? Because I was like really little, and I was like, why is it just me that has this? And then we went to the CHD walk, that's in May. And um, CHD stands for? Uh, like child, child um, heart disease. Child heart disease, right. Mm -hmm. And then, so we see that, and then like I realized all the people that have lost and still have, but um, that I see with not just me. And I told my friends about it. And then my cousins come, and like my aunts and uncles. So it's like a good time. So when you have 
the opportunity to meet up with people who do have problems similar to yours and illnesses similar to yours, and you get to show them a bear like this, they must think that's pretty cool. Yeah, they thought it was really cute, and the person, the one person that I gave it to, they were just like, thank you so much, this is so cute, my little son loves this. And I was like, you're welcome, it's nothing really. Because a lot, well, a lot of little kids, mm. something for little kids who have mm. these surgeries and have the scars, and they look and they, but they probably get scared yeah. by seeing those scars and kind of emotional. Mm -hmm. So to have somebody that kind of looks like them, I mean, that's a, that can be a, a, a big uplift, I would think. Mm -hmm. It's definitely an uplift. And then, like, my friends are like, I feel so bad for you, but I'm like, it's okay. Like, we all have similar such. Like, I feel for people that have worse situations, and I just, like, I try to help other people out mm -hmm. the best I can. Nice. Kylie, how old were you when you first had your, your first surgery? I was four days old. Four days old. Four days old. Four days old. old your first so surgery. you've been dealing with this pretty much your entire, entire life, life, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I guess you, she was born, I guess, a couple of weeks before a scheduled mm -hmm. C-section. Yeah, I was born on January 24th, January. and I was supposed to be born February 8th. Right. And uh, you started to turn blue. Mm -hmm. I turned blue and when they took me upstairs. And yeah, I was they thought she was healthy, but mm -hmm. they realized there was a problem. And it turns out the, the, the uh, pediatrician, Dr. Let's see, Levchuk, mm -hmm. uh, diagnosed her with uh, the congenital heart defect. And so how old were you when you had your second surgery? I was four months. Four months. All right. So, and as a result, what's, it, what's interesting is that as a result of the surgery and opening the chest cavity and doing all that work inside, uh, it created a problem called scoliosis of your mm -hmm. spine. And she is going to require additional surgery, another, another surgery. procedure for mm -hmm. the scoliosis to straighten out your spine. Yeah. So that, and what, what difficulties has that created for you? What limitations? Um, so frequently I have a lot of back pain. I've missed maybe a couple of days of school for it. And it just caused like more doctor's visits and how we diagnosed, they were checking my fluid for lungs. And then my doctor came in and said, who's treating you for scoliosis? And we're like, like wait, hold up. What, is your what are you talking about? Mm -hmm. And then he said it when we were just, like it was like a whole big thing. And I was like, oh my gosh, like this, why is this happening? Yeah. Well, One thing after another, it's really gotta be what it's feeling like for you sometimes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's it's uh, <coughs> you know, it has put limitations on some of her activities. Uh, she can't do everything ten-year-old kids can do. But uh, I don't know from what I've what, heard, but she you're keeping pretty darn busy yeah, for a ten-year-old. Yeah. yeah. So what's some, what are some of the things you're doing outside of school? Um, so in Smithtown, there's this thing called the Smithtown Historical Society, and I volunteer there, and then we. Um, like feed the animals and muck the stalls every Tuesday evening. So we get to like help them. And I've made it into the National Elementary Honor Society at my school. Mm -hmm. And then we like, we always go to help people. Like, like my friend Mary has scoliosis. So we gave her, um, like we gave her like, like some opinions and like some stretches. And we gave her a recommendation on a physical therapist. And we always love my physical therapist, and she loves him too. So it's like, and he's really funny and stuff. And you, and you mentioned that CHD walk. Mm -hmm. So that's a 5K walk. Did you do mm -hmm. a 5K walk? Yeah, I've done it. I think I've done it this for five years now. Yeah. Five years you've been doing that. That's mm -hmm. awesome. And that helps you also, besides being good physical exercise, I would think. Mm -hmm. uh, that probably helps you in your efforts to increase awareness for the diseases and things like that that you've got going on. Mm -hmm. cool. So how many, how many uh, do you know in your circle of friends? How many other friends do you have who have similar, uh, who had similar surgeries? Um, me, like one or two. A couple, okay. Um, like, I don't find them that often. Like, it's like funny if like we went into someone and they're like, oh, like, we have the same condition, like, and, like that's really cool, and then we end up becoming like best friends. Mm -hmm. But like, we've only met a couple that okay. I've no. Very good, very good. As you can see, she is a uh, very special young lady. Totally, and yeah. she's thoroughly enjoyed 
mm -hmm. uh, the capital today. They left very early this morning at f about 5 a.m. to get here. And, uh, now, Kai, uh, we tell, we've said it many times on this program that if anybody gets the chance to come to Albany, they need to tour the state capitol building mm -hmm. because it, we, in our, in our impression, it's a very special place, a beautiful old beautiful. school grand building. You can now either tell us that we're totally wrong <laughs> or that you agree. What'd you think of your tour of the Capitol today? It was really good and the person that led us, Anna, was so amazing and I love Teddy Roosevelt. I did a project on him for school and like it was just so fascinating how I learned more things than I knew that I could look up online. Like it's so much different coming to an actual place and like Googling something. And seeing where, where his office was, the governor's office, I mean, he, a lot of people may not, a lot of people watching this program may not realize that Teddy Roosevelt was the governor of the state of New York. Yeah. They think of him as President mm -hmm. uh, Roosevelt. Uh, he was also the New York City Police Commissioner, if I recall yeah. correctly. Yes, mm -hmm. I got a confirmation and from a member Kylie of the assembly. On that. Mm -hmm. And a, a member, member of the, of the assembly. New York State Assembly, that's right. In fact, there's a, there was a, his desk, I believe, in the back of the I, chamber I, for a while. I, I, I think you might get to there. see that. You're going over to session yes. today? Yes. Yeah. You might get to see that then. That's I very will. cool. She will be introduced on the floor. But it's a, it's a, so, the, so the tour was good. Yeah. The tour guide was good. Mm -hmm. And the, it was kind of cool seeing the place where all the state legislators and the governor and all, they, they hang out and do their work. Mm -hmm. huh? And that was like kind of like, they said that someone was fall, like fell from the ceiling and like they he's always like the ghost spirit is there ever since so that's uh, what we thought I thought was really funny. Yeah. So yeah, I was like there was a big fire in 1911 I think it was mm -hmm. at the state capitol. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So the uh, the capitol is still haunted, you might say. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's another. That's for another. That's, that's for, for another, another program. program I think. <laughs> so what's uh, so what's left for you to do? You're gonna be. Uh, uh, here at the Capitol for a while, or are you heading back home? Uh, so? I have to head back home tomorrow afternoon because I have school on Wednesday and Thursday, and those are my last two days of school um, for this until fifth grade. Um, I, and I, then, yeah. I told her after after she spends some time on the floor with me today, uh, we'll introduce her, and uh, she'll see how we conduct business. And then I recommended that she come to the State Museum. Uh, literally across the street from where we are now <laughs> right. and see the exhibits there. It's uh, very impressive. And then uh, I think they're staying the night at the Red Lion Inn over at Stock across Bridge, the way in Massachusetts. Ma in Stockbridge, <laughs> which is a wonderful place. You'll really enjoy that. And uh, they'll visit the Rockwell, Norman Rockwell Museum, which I have been to. It's a fabulous place. I've been there too. It is a yeah. fabulous place. <laughs> you'll, see, you'll see very famous pictures that you've seen a hundred times yeah, that's right. in <laughs> books and magazines, but there they are. Right. It's, it's great. Yeah, yeah, great spot. So, yeah, so it's been a nice day, and uh, uh, her mom, Natalie, is uh, in the green room watching us as we speak, and she's enjoying her trip. And uh, Kathy Albrecht, from, who runs my district office, my chief of staff, uh, uh, came up uh, with Helen Matus, a dear friend of mine and ours, and uh, so the uh, the ladies are having a wonderful uh, quick visit to Albany and yeah. it's Smith uh, Stockbridge. Week here. It's yeah, Smith Town Week yeah. here in Albany. So it's uh, so we're happy to have her, and uh, uh, but she it was a, an inspiring story how she has uh, overcome this uh, this you know congenital heart defect and is leading a, a happy and productive life with. Uh, very few limitations, uh, but we want to wish you well in your upcoming surgery for the scoliosis, and uh, we'll be there for you. And uh, uh, so I'm just happy you were able to come and visit uh, me and us here in the Capitol. And I think we're going to have a, you're going to have a great rest of the uh, rest of the day. And that yeah. time has flown right by. We're already out of time. Mm -hmm. Kylie, it was a pleasure to meet you. We yes, do yeah. wish you all the best. We'll, you'll be held up in prayer, and. We wish you well with your bears and uh, <laughs> keeping the fight going to, uh, to let people know what they can do. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Thank Mike you, Mike. Fitzpatrick, thank you. We'll Great. be in touch with you in yes. future programs. Indeed. Hi to Natalie, Kylie's mom, and to everybody else. Thanks for joining us. We'll hope to see you all soon for our next assembly calendar.